King Charles is redefining how the royal family engages with the public, making an important change to his upcoming Australian tour. In a show of cultural respect, the monarch has scrapped the term walkabout to avoid offending indigenous Australians. What does this mean for his visit, and why is this shift so significant? As King Charles and Queen Camilla prepare for their upcoming tour of Australia, a notable change has been made to how the public meet and greet sessions are described. Historically, the term walkabout was used to describe these casual interactions between royals and the public, a tradition that began with Queen Elizabeth II's visits to Australia in the 1970s. However, this term has a much deeper significance in Aboriginal Australian culture. A walkabout in indigenous communities refers to a sacred period of reflection, often undertaken alone, during which a person connects with the land and their spirituality. It is a highly personal and culturally significant journey. Recognizing this, King Charles has opted to retire the term to ensure his interactions with the public do not inadvertently disrespect indigenous traditions. Instead of using walkabout, royal events where King Charles will meet Australians have been rephrased as opportunities to meet the public. This change highlights the king's sensitivity to cultural issues and his desire to make the monarchy more inclusive. His decision aligns with a growing awareness around respecting indigenous practices and demonstrates a commitment to evolving the role of the monarchy in a modern, diverse world. The king's visit will include several key moments, such as paying tribute to Australian war veterans at the War Memorial in Canberra and engaging with locals at a community barbecue in Western Sydney. While the term may have changed, the essence of these meetings remains the same, offering Australians a chance to connect with their monarch in a relaxed setting. However, this tour is also marked by health considerations for King Charles. The visit has been scaled back due to his ongoing cancer treatment, which led to the cancellation of a planned stop in New Zealand. Despite these challenges, the king remains determined to carry out his royal duties, with Buckingham Palace confirming that his treatment is progressing well. His determination to meet the public despite health concerns underscores his dedication to his role and to the people of the Commonwealth. King Charles' decision to retire the term walkabout is a meaningful step toward ensuring the royal family's visits reflect cultural sensitivity and respect. As the king continues to modernize the monarchy, this shift highlights his commitment to fostering inclusivity while maintaining cherished traditions. With his health improving and the tour set to go ahead, Australians can look forward to a royal visit that honors both their heritage and their future.